we're going to simplify this expression. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise each one of these expressions to the power that's outside of the parentheses. In order to do that, I need to know the exponent that is in, on each one of these numbers or variables. The 3 has a 1 as an exponent. The x has a 1 as an exponent. The negative 2 has a 1. The x has a 1. The one-third, actually, what I'm going to do with the one-third, instead of putting parentheses, I'm going to write 1 to the first power and 3 to the first power. Okay, now we are going to multiply the exponent outside with each of the exponents that is inside. And the reason we can use this is because we have a product inside of the parentheses. This is the product raised to a power rule. So I'm going to have 3 to the second, x to the second, times negative 2 raised to the second, x to the second, times 1 to the second, over 3 to the second, times x to the 7 times 2 is going to give me 14. So now I simplify whatever I can. I see that 3 to the second is 9. Negative 2 to the second is 4. 1 to the second is just 1. 3 to the second is 9. And then I just have their x to the 14th. Now all of the numbers that are in front, I can multiply the numbers with the numbers and then I can put my variables together since they all have the same base and I can use the product rule for exponents on those so we're going to have 9 times 4 times 1 9th times x squared times x squared times x to the 14th power. I can see over here that I have a common factor of 9. That I'm going to be able to divide out. And I'll be left just with a 4. And with the variables, I see that I got the same base, so I'll be able to add all of the exponents together. And that's going to give me 4 times x to the 18th power. That's going to be our expression simplified. We're done.